know, in today's world, when they, there's so much discussion about bullying, and uh, a lot of times, uh, middle school age and high school students are given a bad rap for being mean to other students. And I, I must say that bullying is definitely occurring across our, our, our nation and even inside our school district. And we're doing what we can to try to address uh, the negative aspects of bullying. But I, I must say that there's some things going on in our schools that is, is very uh, inspiring. And uh, it makes me feel very proud of, of what our students are doing. And one thing that I'm very impressed with is the PALS program at Evans Middle School. And Mayor Bagwell is here with us today to talk about uh, the PALS program at Evans Middle School. And if you would just tell me briefly, what are the benefits and what's the mission of, of the PALS program? Well, our overall mission for the year is to enable all of our young people to use their um, abilities and passions and potentials to make a difference, not only in their lives, but in our school and in the community. Okay. Uh, it's my understanding that the PALS students in your building attend a three-day summer workshop on peers making peace mediation training. Uh, after they complete this training, they are certified to mediate student conflicts in the building. Can you tell me more about how this program is used throughout the year and, and what does mediation entail? Well, our students right now are participating um, in about uh, 300 mediations a year. They, they do have someone come in and train them. They basically get to meet, um, two PAL students meet with two people who are having some type of conflict in our building um, that can be resolved. They enable the students to express what's going on, equal amount of time to share the problem, and they let them talk through it till the problem is diffused and they come up with a solution or a resolution for it um, where they both feel equally treated. And usually by the time they leave, it ends in a better relationship. They've diffused any anger, violence, and they walk out of the room, the two people who are having the conflict, with just a better um, understanding of why each other was upset and they have a resolution and they don't carry that anger on throughout the building um, through that day, week, or year. So why is this better to have the students do this instead of having an adult involved in resolving the conflict? Because it's in a non-threatening environment. The students walk in and understand they're not going to get in trouble with school, they're, they won't be suspended, detention. This is a safe place where their peers can give them um, ideas and suggestions of how to make a resolution and they don't feel threatened. Often with adults, they feel threatened that if I share this information, I'm going to get in trouble. But it's very laid out clear that um, there will be no consequences as a result of it. That they're simply there to help them resolve their conflict in a peaceful way. Um, you know, with the PALS program, the teen leadership that you do, uh, what are some things that you're most proud of or you've seen here this past year that just is really inspiring to you? Uh, well, of course, I'm really inspired that the kids have taken the program, the mediation program, and built it each year more and more mediations and resolving a nonviolent, non-angry building. But I'm, I'm really proud that they're out in our community and our schools mentoring our um, perhaps lower achieving students, students who perhaps have behavior problems and need academic support. They provide resiliency, and, and so they're over at Wilford Building helping those kids. They're in Evans Building helping their own peers accomplish something academically in school that they can use socially out um, in life to excel. And especially this year, I have a group of young um, men and women who are all athletes that have this um, crazy energy. We, we weren't really sure how to manifest that energy in, in the right channels, but we found that uh, once we put them one-on-one -on -one with some of our um, academically challenged students, they were making it so that those students weren't being bullied. They weren't being harassed in our building. They built their self-esteem up uh, so that wherever they're at in the building, they're constantly um, building them in front of their peers. And so it's made those kids go from not wanting to be at school to thinking, you know, our building is just the best place to be. And, and the kids have done that because they constantly interact with their mentors. Well, it's exciting to see what's happening at Evans yeah. Middle School in relation to uh, the students getting along with one another and helping each other. Uh, it's a very inspiring story. In fact, it's, it's uh, a story that we ran um, 
uh, on the internet. We have it uh, among the, the stories on the sliders with Evans uh, that highlights uh, what these students have done. I would encourage you to uh, look at that to get more information. And I appreciate you spending uh, some time with us here this morning. And let's make it a great week.